Hey guys, it's Katya here and what's up? Welcome back to my channel and it's been a while since I do a talking video like this and as you can see I just posted a dance video recently and it's called Covered and I made a poll on Instagram whether you guys want me to do an in-depth video talking about the piece and thankfully got good responses and I got 100% yes so yeah that's what we're gonna do today yeah so I called this um, probably can be a segment in the future who knows I call this behind the movement and it's basically me talking about um, the pieces that I made talking about like the idea behind it my process in uh, choreographing it and the message behind it as well that I want to put out like more on the like creative side of it you know uh, so okay we're gonna go through the contents first firstly I will talk about what the video is about and then where the idea came from and lastly the movement breakdown where I'll be doing more explanation about the movements the meaning behind it and the sections of the piece so let's get started So the video is mainly about like a response to COVID-19 because this has impacted like all of us humans in our daily life so this piece is trying to capture like the idea of fear and faith the dynamics of our minds and mentality in facing this situation so like whether you're at home your workplace whether you're at the streets or in the midst of people how do you act and react to the things around you and what's going on in your mind as well the dance is half choreograph and half improvise because i want to make something set for this obviously to make it clearer but i also want room to explore with this idea and show that moment of realness in the video that comes from the improv yeah that's just the beauty i think with improvisation like so i only like think about the idea or with the idea like in my head and then i don't prepare anything and yeah when the camera is on and it's recording i just do whatever comes out from the inside based on the idea i have yeah so uh this idea uh, or inspiration came from when i was just got back from jakarta on end of january and then on february i was in singapore right and yeah people like already wore masks like everywhere like probably half of the population that i saw and then half still like going on like bare face um yeah so i saw like I saw that and then I was like, oh, I want to make a dance video using a surgical mask and I think that would be something uh, that's very cool and unique and yeah, but I mean, I don't just want to make something like, okay, I just want to dance using a mask like for fun with any song, whatever, that's it. No, I don't want it to be like that. Like, I like personally, I think that, um, okay, if I want to make this, how can I make it like purposeful and uh, meaningful and what impact that I want to put through by using this, by making this. And yeah, so that's where I started to like um develop the ideas and finding the right song for it that's why i use instrumental songs so there won't be any lyrics that um, make the uh, message that i want to put out like off yeah so yeah okay so the movement breakdown as you can see in the video wait i will link the video down below 
so you can watch it as well um, I used two locations in the video and I don't know why I just want to use those um, locations and I feel that I haven't really like see anyone use that space in their dance videos but a short story I performed in those locations before when I was in college so that's how I know that place so yeah basically like I believe that not everything has to have a meaning so yeah that's just like why I want to use those locations and basically you can just make a link with the space that you use relating to your work and as you can see in the video, the starting position that I chose is lying down because I want to like portray like how these people, how humans like going through their lives in facing these situations which means like from where they get up on their beds like every morning and then go to work or school or uh, whatever they do on that day and then yeah that's why I chose the lying down position and basically I'm just like playing with emotions and also faith and fear that maybe most of us face and like struggle with like in facing this situation are you more scared are you scared to go out are you scared meeting people and then like just shut yourself out from the world or you have more faith in it and you're accepting like oh okay i know this is happening but no matter what as long as i do my part i'll be okay and i'll be taken care of then i'll be taken care of yeah so that's mainly what i'm trying to portray with this and yeah so faith and fear and also the emotions that is going on inside of you so the faith and fear like both of these are oppositions right and as you can see in the tunnel part after i go this and then and then like there's a lot of opening and closing of the hands and that's what i am playing with in terms of oppositions or like faith and fear because faith is more like okay i surrender i believe and i know that uh, no matter how hard life is no matter how circumstances or bad the situation is i know this too shall pass that's why like that symbolizes the openness i guess and yeah so as what i said before like have faith in wherever you're going and like you're gonna be okay and as long as you do your part and not be stupid during the situation you'll be taken care of and that's what that's my beliefs perspective and it means also receiving the situation of the virus and receiving means like not denying that it is happening so the opposite of faith is fear right and fear can be a cause of overthinking things like so we overthink that something can happen when actually the thing that you overthink about is relative and uncertain don't know whether it's true or not so that's why you overthink that it can happen but yeah basically you're overthinking it yeah and so from this overthinking it can build up and it can lead to stress and other things that you definitely don't want to experience obviously and yeah closing can be like sh that shutting out yourself from the world okay so the other one is emotions where i choose gestures to portray it like for example like the no touching as like now you really can't like touch people or shake hands or like whatever and it sucks i know it sucks but yeah so the no touching and then you can see the the hands on the head 
it can also like means like oh something going on in your head and then you're like stressed about it and also when the part that the people comes in the pedestrians comes in with this like you know like there's the safe distancing policy right like whenever you go out and where like if you go out from your house and if you travel somewhere or walk whatever you can see that people are physically distancing themselves from others and avoiding crowds and it's basically trying to capture that with this part of the video and this part is also improvised <laughs> yeah that's why i really want to play with it and with the people coming in i think it uh, would be interesting as well and in the scene of the video i also try to capture like using my body what is going on in one's head when they are just like strolling or going on in their daily routines maybe in the commute or like walking home after work the thing is you cannot see what a person is thinking about okay when you like in the MRT station and someone walks passes by you you cannot see what that person is thinking or what's going on in their heads and as calm as they may seem from the outside it can be like scary and disruptive on the inside yeah and moreover in this covid situation when you go out people are trying to be more cautious and more aware with their surroundings and making habits that usually we don't have uh, so basically it's just capturing their inner state through the dance in the midst of people passing by like when you see in the video so that's why i include the pedestrians in it on purpose and okay i'm just gonna talk quick about pedestrians in dance videos so um because when you like make a video outside in an open space there will be pedestrians, there will be people walking and disturbing your video and most of the times you cannot avoid it. So that's why I made a decision to include them because I think they'll be a good prop for the video and there's still the element of realness in it. Yeah. So, um, why do I do this video? I mean like I can just like do something for fun and I really enjoy making dance videos and yeah it's true because it's fun like with no reason and like, sometimes I also like just create with no reasons with no purpose but like at times I want to make a purpose out of it so like for example if I choose a song okay what meaning I can get out of this and what message I want to share through uh, this work that I'm gonna create because you want to be mindful with what you put out to the world and with the work that you have on your hands and like what effect that it can create by creating this or with what medium or art that you have and whether it can be impactful to the people that's gonna see it later yep so yeah i'm gonna close in a bit so this is just a breakdown of the video and i hope it gives you more understanding about the work and the thought process behind it and like this is just my side of uh, the story like my experiences when i like observe my surroundings during this situation and it can be different for you and you can have a different interpretation of this piece and it's okay and the thing is we just need to like respect each other respect each other's opinions respect each other's art and respect each other's lives as well so if you enjoy this kind of video give it a thumbs up 
be below and subscribe for more videos of me in the future and i hope you are all doing well stay safe wherever you are and i'll see you in the next one and god bless Chocolate factory, all of these chicks coming at me, but none of